Have you ever seen a singer break a wine glass with his voice? Well, I'm going to do that for you today. But before I do, I have to tell you that it's very difficult, even if you have a magnificent voice like mine. <laughs> for one thing, you need a very special wine glass. It has to be thin and delicate so that it's not impossible to break. And it has to have a very pure tone. In other words, if you tap it, it has to go ping and not thunk. <laughs> well, if you know anything at all about wine glasses, you'll know that that can be summed up in just two words. Very expensive. So I went to the physics department and I said, I need you to buy me a very expensive wine glass. And they said, Goodstein, why don't you drink out of a paper cup like everybody else? <laughs> so I said, no, 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 it's for a demonstration. And they said, all right, we'll do the usual thing. And they did. They appointed a committee. So the committee met and deliberated and thought about it, and finally they decided that they would appropriate enough money to buy me one very expensive wine glass to break for you. And here it is. But before I do it, I want to explain to you why it's going to happen. It has to do with a phenomenon called resonance. All right, the time has come to break the wine glass. But I'm not going to do it with my own voice. My contract with the Met won't permit that. <laughs> and there's another problem. This takes practice, and I only have the one wine glass. So I'm going to try it first using this ordinary laboratory beaker. Now here's how it's going to work. All of this stuff here is going to substitute for me and make a pure tone. That'll make the beaker vibrate. And then I've got this microphone here, which is listening to what the beaker does. And the output of the microphone is on this oscilloscope, so you'll be able to see on the oscilloscope what the beaker is doing. Watch this. You see that? Okay. Now, what I have to do is to turn up the volume, and that makes the beaker vibrate. Now, you can see that the beaker is vibrating, but not very much because it's not exactly at the right frequency. It has to be at precisely the right frequency, the resonant frequency of the beaker, in order to vibrate enough to make it break. So I'm going to tune this to the right frequency. There it is, right there. That's it. All right? Now all I have to do is to turn up the volume all the way up and it'll break the beaker. Okay, you ready for this? And the people in the first couple of rows, your ears will bleed a little bit, but don't worry about it, it's not serious. You ready for this? Here we go. So, we managed to do it without ever breaking this exquisite wine glass. You see, that's why they bought it for me. They knew I'd never get around to breaking it. All right, that's it for today.